Hey guys, what's up? Lambo here. Hold up. I'm blind. I can't see. Can't see. But we got a video to make, so welcome. Hit that like button right now. Thank you. Anyways, I got some music going in my ears, so I'm going to be like rambling on while I do this. God, it's so loud. I love it. Ugh, some tango going on here. So we have Winston's FS17 Polaris Razor. I... Uh, I'm sure you guys have played with it, possibly. We'll open it up, let you look at it for a second here. Uh, open it up in 7.1, because it's old school mod. Old school, old school. While that's opening up, we're gonna go into our ATV, and I already have a template made up. Uh, and whoop, we'll put that in there, we'll remove that, boink. Sounds good. All right, so now we got that. My template. Oh, from this template, we're gonna open that up with 8.10. And now the reason why I'm opening up one with the older version, one with the newer version, one the one we're gonna be modding in this template and using it in FS19 is the newer version of Giants Editor 8.10. And there might be a newer one, but I've been disconnected from the internet for a little while. Open that one up for my editing. But when you open up Giants Editor 7.10. It actually, and you go to export out all this stuff, all the files and all that kind of stuff. It is uh, 7.1 will actually pull all the textures and the shaders that you need for uh, each each object. Unlike the new 8.1 beta, it doesn't transfer the files at all. You have to manually do each one. So it's kind of dumb. They need to fix that. But that's why I'm going to do it like that. So right now we're going to kind of check it out. Look at this. Uh, get rid of some of these windows. Must have been building the map last last video. Uh, got my dancing going on here, guys. Okay. So, what it looks like here is I can pretty much go like this and hit export selection with files. And then we're going to open up, let's go to my ATV section, Polaris Razor. We're going to make a export file. And I, I made another folder because what's going to happen, it's going to transfer over all those image files. And I don't want those just on the main screen. Uh, so I'm going to put them into here. Okay, now we'll open up this bad boy. Awesome. And we'll go import. So we're going to import that in, that X now. All right. So that's in there now. Let's hop down there. We are in the outdoor camera, so we'll hop into a random camera here. Actually, let's create a new one. That way we don't think with ourselves. You come up here, create a new camera. We're gonna hop in that camera now. Um, now we can move around, do everything perfect. If it's a little light for you guys, you know, and you can't see, uh, another thing I like to do is go light. Ooh. So let me get that light now. Now that I have that light, I'm going to control exit and then I'm going to control V it into there. Come over onto this rotate, put zero and zero. And then now there's no shader attached to this. So it's this dark. Man, it looks good in this new game. It's, this template is made for a truck. So, like, this is a pretty big razor, I feel like. It might need to be toned down in size. We'll see. Oh, it looks sick, though. I like it. All right. Like here, here's the pol Polaris. So we can literally probably its wheels and everything, steering column, root player. We're gonna have to, we're gonna completely regut this all. All right, main component. I like that that one better. We'll have to adjust it. So. What I like to do is I will click on all the crap here, uh, hit Control X, and then I'm going to adjust this one. I like The reason why I like this one is because it's tapered at the ends, unlike that other one is just a straight box. So um, I can't do it if when its rigid body is dynamic, so I set it to static, and then I'll kind of downsize it a little bit. Check it out. Obviously, we can go a little bigger here. A little bit more. Yep. Let 
man, I, I, I like the taper in the, in the front more than the back. I mean, if you hit a bump or something, you know, it'll skim off it. Unlike a lot of trucks out there, they just have a simple box as their collision. And then when they bump into something, it's not like real life to where, you know, it, it actually hit it and rub off. It's like, boom, and the whole truck just flips up. So if your rigid bodies are funky, that's why too. So we're going to turn this bad boy all the way around here. Okay. And now we have it scaled and all this. We need to zero this all out. So we'll right click on it, go to freeze transformations. We'll go to rotate and scale and click apply. So now it's back normal here. Okay. From that moment here, we're going to go boom. We'll paste all that stuff back in there. And now it's, it, it didn't, didn't adjust it or anything like that. Um, so now we'll take all this stuff out of here. So this is set up for the wheels. Let's let's just get down and dirty with the wheels real quick. So, so with this template, if, if I don't want to have to do too much work and change all the indexes, the easiest way to do this for converting is so obviously this, this tire is in the game, uh, the wheel front left, right? So in click on here, wheel front left, that one right there. Okay, I want I want to replace it with this bad boy right here. So I'll hit a whole control and W and it'll be replaced. And then uh, I want to keep physical attributes. I think that's the one I need. Hold on, let me double check with my attributes. Physical attributes. Yes, that's what I want to do. And then I'll click on this wheel. If I mess this up, my bad here. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's been a while since I've had it. I've, I've done it this way. Sometimes I do it a different way. Oh, this new hold shift selecting sucks. So we got to load it after you load it in there. And then we're going to keep physical. Um, hit replace. Oh, I thought that was going to work. Nope. It was the other one. It, it was user attributes. I think. Let's find out. Maybe that's a glitch in it because it's different in 7.1. Maybe I'm just a dingling. Either which way, dingling or not, I like where this is at. So we'll just get it figured up, lined up. Okay, then that's not the easiest way to go about doing this right here. The easiest way to go about doing this is I'm gonna make these simple when Winston made this it, if you just leave this transform sometimes it, it messes it up because when an error pops up uh, you don't really know where the error is if you just have everything labeled as transformed <laughs> so now I have all those I'll just highlight them all control exit out of there and then I'm gonna post them in the wheels here and they're gonna be exactly where I need them and I don't need these wheels anymore so these wheels I can just say bye-bye and now I just rigged up the wheels as long as I don't you know, I have them in order one, two, three, four, back. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, let's hit the back button. So, so we just need to double check that. So, the rights are the two bottom ones. See, this is so it goes left, left, then right, right. So, how this would actually be would be, and is that right is front? Okay. This has just got way more complicated now, right? Let's throw these back in here. So one and four, and then th three, oh, three, gotta move that down. Two and three, right? Two and three. Basically my front left, I'm just making sure they're exact order. All right, now I can delete those. Now the wheels are done. Whew, that was a long runabout. I'm sorry, I made that confusing, but I had confused myself for a second. Trippy. Okay, so the lights, I have the lights turned off on here, I think, already. We'll do the lights later. Uh, right now, let's just get it in-game, working air-free, right? That sounds like the best idea. So we got the wheels taken care of. Now we actually need to put the Polaris body in there. And visuals looks like... Um, the easiest way to copy this out is... The main dynamic body is always set to zero, everything, right? So if you want a part to be exactly where it is when you copy it over like this to be on that next one, all you need to do is 
create a new transform group or have a transform group that is all zeroed out. If you notice right up here, the Y and the Z is up and down a little bit in my visual, so I shouldn't really do that. Uh, let's create a new transform and we're going to put uh, our ZR for Razor. Hit Control C or, or Control X and then uh, we're going to click on Convert, paste it inside of there. And then with this Polaris, we'll hit Control X, throw it inside that Razor. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. So it's not always going to be absolutely perfect. Oh, I, I know exactly what I just did wrong right there. I actually threw it inside the convert, and if you look, convert's lifted up a little bit. So that's all zeroed out. Boom, now it's in the exact right spot it needs to be. Being silly. Okay, and then uh, there's collision. So we can throw the collisions. Are they moved around at all? So this collision, let's do visibility on them. There is no collisions in there, so sweet. Is that all zeroed out? Oh, it was just fine right where it was, huh? It was just fine right where it was. All right. Yes, yes, I asked Winston if I could convert this for him. He's been not feeling well, and so any mods that you see from him, just like absolutely be 100% thankful because he's not he's not doing good right now I mean he bravo strong man is all I gotta say um, but those who were wondering that's kind of the ordeal um as I'm looking at this right now exhaust particles indoor HUD we can probably totally take the indoor HUD throw that in there for a later date I'm uh, AI collision, all the steering, the player route, I can totally, let's make sure they're coded the same. So skin, right foot, left foot, exit point, look at player route, skin, right foot, left foot, sweet. Okay. Then we can do that. Um, Got my exhaust particle. I'm trying to show you this the easiest way to do it with the least amount of time. Um, and I could leave that exit point the way it is, really. Okay, and the lights. Lights don't mean anything right now because um, I don't think these this light bar is converted over. Oh, that roof is a part of the light. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to throw that part in the blender later and make sure that those are... Uh... Oh, no, I could figure out a way to make those like that. Maybe. Okay, camera. Camera's solid right in there. Um, I think that's all I need from here. So, uh, what's the weight on this before we get rid of this guy? So, 7.413. And this guy is... Oh, we didn't even change it back to a dynamic. Yeah. This guy is... Uh... And then go recompute BV after we did the rigid body. Oh, yeah, we need to bump that up a little bit. So, like uh, 1.3, maybe. Maybe 4. I mean, I know that's a lot of weight, but if not, you guys will be flying all over the map with this guy going way too fast. Okay, that'll be good enough right now. Uh, pretty sure that's all I want to play with in this guy's steering base. Oh, yeah, we got to get that in there. Um, as much as I want to dabble with those lights, I wish I could. And it already has an AI on there. Okay, so at that point, what I'm going to do right now is hit save. Hit the save button, man. <laughs> you don't know how many tabs. Uh, I can come over here. I can close this old razor now. No, I don't want to save it. We're not playing with FS17 anymore. Sorry, guys. If you still play FS17, I completely drop making mods for it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, that's all done. That's nice. So let's go through 
these pretty sure the wheels just work straight out of the box like this um not gonna play around with lights yet that's like a whole nother video uh cameras cameras will be simple to do really quick uh you got your outdoor camera target so that would be right there the camera's gonna rotate around that part um whenever you go to spin on it and you want to look at it from different angles from the outdoor camera uh indoor camera let's jump in that boy real quick and place it we're a little little forward and a little over so right about here right because then you can ah woo! yeah all right right about there i think i'd be happy with and we'll click on that bad boy and over here in the rotate i'm going to put zero this is going to any problems you have with weird weird camera issues so in the y i put negative 180 and then zero for the x and zero for the z and then we're going to get out of that camera do not move it do not rotate your camera don't do anything just get out of that camera very quickly all right yeah, so now these are basically it tells the camera don't allow you to see inside this area like you, you put them where you don't want to see inside the model so like right at the front usually i like to do one right at the top too at the highest point on the top oh not that gosh dang it i'm just like perfectly there and then one right at the back okay shadow box this is the place where the game is going to extensively give you better graphics and different shadows and nifty stuff like that so i'm going to put that right in the center sounds good to me steering wheel rot rotation now we have a steering wheel right there already let's kind of look and see if it oh see so that has left arm and arm on it and the one we put inside of here is where are you at here the steering base so now we need to jump in that bad boy let's look in there does it have left hand right hand oh so it has so move that up one okay I think we're ready to have fun. My, oh, I forgot it's inside the. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the wheel out, throw the wheel in there. Could have did that a little different, maybe possibly. Steering base has a negative. So I'm going to copy this. I hit Control Shift and C, and I while I was in the X one, Control Shift C, and then I'll go to the wheel rot rotation right here, and I'm going to hit Control Shift V to paste it. I know, I know. Just just give me a second here. Um, no, it's not going to work. Didn't work because I forgot it's in a different spot. Makes it such a more pain in the butt. Uh, this is a negative 55 i remember correctly and from here screw it we're gonna go like this and can interactive control b place it uh these are identical now left hand right hand left hand no move up you're supposed to be left and right there we go right left right steering right arm steering okay so we can just delete that one now and that should fill the spot without having to change any of the coding in the xml um mirrors we need to have a talk about mirrors there is no mirrors so these mirrors for the time being who knows we want to add them in the later and we can just take the coating off of it and whatnot tension belts we obviously do not have any tension belts nor do we need to worry about tension belts exhaust particles has an interesting rotation on it so we'll take that and we're gonna go right down here to the exhaust that's our exhaust right there correct right and then we'll go to our rotate control shift v it in 
and it changes the exact rotation they need it. And I can delete exhaust particles and steering base down there. Uh, player root is on my mind next. What do you up to? Okay. So we got skin, right foot, left foot, and then we got. Player root. Okay, so there's a little bit of a rotate on this player root going on here. So we'll get a little bit of a rotate going too. Somewhat see what this is like here. Where is it placed at? We're just placed smack dab on the table right there, right? Okay, so I think we'll just do interactive placement right in the middle here. And that should cover our butt, right? Pretty dang close. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I thought we were going to lose it. Oh, no. It's down just a, a nugget, huh? Yeah. That's, that's, I mean, it's getting there. It's getting there. Wee! Over just a hair. Okay. I'm happy with that. We'll get rid of that player root. Shouldn't have to do too much coding now, honestly. I went through and I did all the basics. Uh, we still have indoor HUD and all this kind of stuff um, to do. Pull that out of there, throw that in the razor, should put it exactly where it needs to be. Uh, this animated moving parts, tailgate bull crap. We'll go bye bye. And then next up, uh, we need to look at the body and everything to see how dark it is. And uh, So we got car paint. Sure there's no shaders or anything funky like that. Oh man, there's a lot of different. Kind of go through and metalize this a little bit here. Car paint, we're going to put that 459. And we'll put that at 0.2. Maybe, how's that look there? I mean, it looked pretty sick all right out like that. But... Kind of just changing this to smooth. This is kind of just a color I like. Uh, works good for me, a good setting, proper amount of light and stuff. Uh, same thing with the trim. And on the car paint, I might actually go a little bit more fancier. Uh, maybe like a 0.5. Maybe like a 0.8. Give it a little gloss there. Okay, so textures on that. Now check out these wheels. They look like crap right now. Let's try to see what we can do. Let's spice these wheels up a little bit. What do you say, monkey bean? Okay, so we got the tire going on here. We definitely need to make that look a little bit more rubbery. So there we go. Made the tires look a little bit more rubbery. And now those hubs are pretty dark as well. Uh, we might jump into here. Rim chrome. chrome. Um, that totally can be chrome. But one thing, just go like that. I removed the beetle map texture and it sets smoothness one and metalness one down here if you notice. Um, so now I got chrome in there. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, WWWD, what would Winston do? <laughs> All right, so now we got the rim. Um, rim is pretty nifty, I'm not gonna lie. Ah, it's got, it's got good, it's got good potential, but you guys think that looked better, like a matching red kind of a thing? I don't know. We'll see. I mean, he did a good job baking them. These are pretty neat rims. Um, Yeah, I mean, we could do a color overlay. Um, just go with that right now. The tires are looking good. Everything's kind of looking a little fancier here. Got your, we got the mirror. 
or all the glass here. Um, so kind of the interior is looking a little, a little too sparkly. I feel. I feel like there might be a shader somewhere that I'm missing. Carbon fiber. Yeah. Look cool. Okay. Point two. The reason why it's changing and freaking out like that is because now we're starting to add some some spectral maps and everything. So this that light I put on my camera earlier is reflecting off of it. Uh, yeah, carbon fiber velour, 0.59. No, uh, that might be it. Which what's the velour? Okay, okay. Leather, yeah, leather doesn't need to be really. Doesn't need to reflect too much. Trim, where did the trim? Point one, point one. There you go. Lighten of that stuff. Car paint, can't touch that one. Brushed, that one's already done. Uh, we're gonna create a new light just in general. So we just have a constant safe. That's looking good. I like that. Definitely, we're gonna leave Winston because he's the champ up there. Um. Does the hood come up on this bad boy? What, what all comes up? Hood. Is there an engine in there? Let's look in there. What's in there? That's, see, that's good. That's neat. Wires could have been done, but I guess all in all, it's not bad. All right. So now the, yeah, that should actually do it for us, guys. Um, biggest thing is I think the radius of the wheel is a little different. I'm just going to hit save here. Uh, probably going to have to have some, oh, what's this? See, there's something sparkly right there that I missed. Ooh, that looks good like that. I like that color, man. That's a good looking color. Uh, see, I'd love to go back in and pull this into Blender and just kind of give us a little bit more detail on the shocks. And on the engine back here, because that's such a sick engine. Just needs some extra love. Just some coloring would really bring it out. Uh, yeah, I might end up doing that. I'll see if Winston will let me play with it. Oh, I like this little box back here. I never noticed that before. I wonder if we can... Oh, it's removable. Cool. So, maybe we can make that as an attachment that you drive under and so then you can uh, all grain or stuff. Something along those lines. Maybe feed pigs with this. Oh! Ideas are just... Let's. How can we use this besides just play? You know what I mean? Just messing around. I think feeding cattle and stuff like this, you could totally... Uh, we can make something in Blender that would allow... Um, like a little auger spout to come out and just down on the, you know what I mean? That'd be way cool. Okay, that's enough of our theoretical. I just like looking at mod and being like, oh, this would be neat to try that or try this. Um, I think this guy is ready. Let's hit save and then let's hit reload. Seems to be doing okay. Scoot in a little bit on there. All right. Save, reload, and now let's let us let us open the template. Actually, let's go mod disk and template. Oh no, no, just you and template. Let's go open. No, okay. So let's go here. Version. Oh, we're not we're not at La we're not at Lambo mods anymore. I'm getting ready to get me and Winston a new site. That's the reason why I didn't update the site is because me and him are just big team, you know what I mean? So, and this is Winston's mod originally, so we better put, he didn't even put his Winston. God, what was it, 9-4? I always forget the little number he uses. Let's look, it's right in here. Winston 9587. I think that's his kids' birthdays or something. Okay, 9587. Oh, wait, right? 9587, right? I did that right? 9587, okay. Okay, so we got Winston in there now. 
uh, mod name Polaris. <laughs> Polaris Vixer. There we go, there we go. Okay. Okay, so we got that in there. Uh, that's going to be the end, I think, of this video, guys. That's um, doing all the converts inside of the editor. I didn't really touch the XML. I'm not even sure how long the video was. Let's see here. 30 minutes. I mean, let's give yourselves a breather. Uh, I'm giving myself a breather so I can get some drinks, water. And I'm going to make another video of all the coding of this. And I'll try my best to upload them both at the same time. So once you get done with one, you guys can just move right into the next one. That way, the videos aren't too long and just kind of ridiculously. So thanks for watching, guys. I'd really love for you to hit that like button. If you, if you took anything this, out of this today, if you enjoyed this at all, uh, do me two things. A, leave a comment down below. Uh, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are, if you think I suck or if you think this. I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to share my knowledge with you guys. Uh, and then B, if you found any of this information valuable, hit that subscribe button. I got more videos coming your way.